The mission of the North Charleston Rec Department is to provide quality programs, quality facilities, and quality special events to everyone. We obviously are focused on making sure our community and our citizens here are taken care of, and I think we do a really good job of that. But we're starting to become a rec department that's, that's known not only regionally, but maybe even nationally now. And being able to provide those for the folks that come in as tourists, as visitors for the weekend, we're, we're really wanting to make sure that everybody has a place. We're getting bigger and we are providing things that are maybe didn't happen 5, 10, 15 years ago. And those things are really making an impact on a lot of lives, not only here in North Charleston, but again, outside of North Charleston. So we're gonna continue to do that. We're gonna continue to get bigger and better from a North Charleston Rec Department standpoint. And we know that we have the support from the mayor and city council to do that. Recreation has been something in my life that I've done since I was very small. I've played in all sports programs, gone to special events, done everything that recreation has provided. And when you're a young kid or even a young adult, you don't realize that there's professionals that do this for a living. They, they provide the programs, they design the festivals, they find the referees for the sports games. And as a young kid, you kind of take that for granted. But being a sports person my whole life, uh, growing up playing pretty much every sport there was, you know, this job gives me a way to provide, to kind of give back to those that provided me. I have many coaches and teachers and, and adults that have coached me and guided me through the years. And, I'm starting to realize now how much importance they really did have on my life 20, 30, 40 years ago. So it's good to be able to be somebody that can give back to something that gave me so much. Being in this profession now for almost 22 years, it's good to see the smiles on people's faces, especially from the young kids all the way up to the seniors when sometimes they think we just play basketball all day long, um, but in fact we're, we're working to try to provide programs and facilities and events for them to enjoy their lives, whether they're a young kid, a new parent, or even a grandparent. This award considers service, leadership, and character. So our state association, the South Carolina Recreation and Parks Association, they give out three major awards each year. One being the Professional of the Year Award, which is given to somebody that's been in the service for 15 plus years. I was fortunate enough to receive that award at our annual conference, and it really, first of all, was a big surprise, very much appreciated, but the one thing that kind of hit home with me is that, you know, there, I know the individuals that have won this award in the past and they have done amazing things for their agencies across the state. And to be in the same breath as those individuals and be part of this uh, fraternity, if you will, of professionals of the year, it, it really means a lot. Uh, but more importantly, it's not an award that I won by myself. I have an amazing staff. I've had amazing staff throughout the years that do all the work behind the scenes that really keep us moving forward. I might be the one that is on camera or doing interviews or having to have the tough decisions with city council and the mayor, but my staff are the ones that, that really make us go. They make us go forward every day. They make us better every day. So although I was the one that received the award, it really in my mind is more of a team award because I couldn't do what I've done for the last 22 years if, if I had to do it by myself. Please help us honor T.J. Roston as the 2022 SCRPA Professional of the Year. We've done a lot of good things over the last few years and we're going to continue to do that with the building of some new facilities. Park Circle, Danny Jones are, are really things that, that kind of put you on the map. I think that uh, along with myself and our staff have you know, had a lot of conversations with the mayor and city council about where we want to go and where we're trying to bring recreation here in, in the city of North Charleston as well as this low country. And I think they're, they're hearing us and they're understanding that recreation is a big deal to a lot of people, not just to those that live here, but those that visit and eventually those that are going to move here. Recreation is not just for kids, not just for adults, not just for seniors. It's for everyone. 